Hi everyone. Today my challenge is to convert the record in this table into that table. What I need is to separate all the date range into individual dates like that, so that at the end I can have a summary table for how many days taken by each staff like this. With regular Excel. This is almost a mission impossible, but with Power Query, it can be done in just a few minutes. Let's see it. Before we start, we need to understand two fundamental things in Excel. The first one is all date is recorded as a number in Excel. For example, here this date, what you see is a date. Because the format is date, if I change it back to January, you will see that behind the scenes it is just a whole number. The second thing we need to understand is how to create a list of sequential number within the Power Query editor. In the Power Query editor, if I want a sequential number, I just go to the formula bar, type equal sign. And then the query bracket, and then type the starting number, say for example ten, and then dot dot two dots, and then input the ending number, say for example twenty. Now I've got a list from ten to twenty, and we need to pay attention that if the starting number and the ending number are the same, I will only get a single number, which is ten. And also pay attention to this. We cannot mix the data type. We cannot、uh, start with a number and then put a test here. For example, A B C, then we will get an error. With the basic understanding of date, which is just a number, and also understand how we can create a list of sequential numbers in Power Query Editor. We are ready to go now. So the first step is always go to the data tab, import the table into Power Query Editor. Now the table list record is imported into the Power Query Editor. The first step I need is to separate all the date range or dates that are separated by the comma. So. I select this column, go to three columns by delimiter. The delimiter is comma, and I want to split all occurrence. And I open the advanced options instead of splitting into columns. I want to split them into rows. Okay. Well, there we go. The next step is we have a date range. Indicated by an hyphen like this, so we want to separate the starting date and the ending date into two different columns. So we can do so by splitting columns by delimiter. This time the delimiter is hyphen, so I input hyphen here and OK. Well, Power Query is smart enough. To identify that the output actually for these two columns are date, so it convert the data type into date automatically. But I do not want the date; I want the number behind the scenes. So I highlight, I select these two columns, and then I'm going to change the data type to whole number. Pay attention to this. I am going to select add a new step. In doing so, I am actually convert the date to the number behind the scenes. There we go. We have two number. One is the starting date, the other is the ending date. So that we can create a list to give me a sequential number between the start and the end date, but. As I mentioned in the introduction, we cannot create a list 
with a starting number but a node here. So we need to add a conditional column to fill the gap here. Add column, conditional column. Let's call it end date. What I want is if the NIF record number 2 equal to no, then give me the record number 1. Otherwise, else give me the record number 2. Okay. Now we see that with the load here, we have the start date and the end date being the same date. That means I will not have a range of date here. I will only have a single date for this record. Let me rename this as the start date. This step is optional. I just want to make sure it will be more clear in the next step. The next step is I need to create a list of sequential numbers between the starting and the ending date. So I'm going to add column, add a custom column. So this is my date record. Okay. What I'm going to do is to Use the curly bracket, start date, dot, dot, two dots, end date. And also the curly bracket. Okay. There we go. We have a list of records. We can pay attention to the example here. This is a list of two days. And here we have a longer list. Basically, it's the starting date here and the end date there. So now the remaining steps are super easy. I don't need these three columns. I can remove them. So now I have the staff and the date record. Click on this button. Expand to new rows. We are almost there. We have a list of record as number. What we want to do is to convert them into date. As simple as that. We can now load it into our spreadsheet. Close the node, close the node too. We can load it here. See, this is the result. We have just made the impossible possible. Isn't it amazing? Let's confirm by double checking the result. This is the record for n. The first record is starting from the January 11th to 12th. We capture it here. The second record, February 5th to 10th. We have it there. And the last record is 1st of March. We also captured that. You know what? I'm going to add something. Let's extend the record to 3rd of March. Right it on the result, refresh. There we go. The result is updated in just the click of refresh. Now we are ready to prepare the summary table. We can do it by referencing this query. So I'm going to right click here, select reference. Let me rename it to summary. What I want is to count how many days taken by each stop. So basically what I'm going to is a goodbye action. Let's select the column stop. Go to transform. Goodbye. And the new column name, just call it days taken. The operation I want is count rows, which means count the number of rows for each group. Okay, there we go. I hope you like it. Mm -hmm.